Well, I came to NCPA for a new teaching opportunity and the chance to explore the whole student. Uh, I was looking for a challenge, both personally and professionally. Putting yourself in a different culture, you really learn a lot about yourself. It's the chance to be a part of change. I mean, this school is trying to adopt a standard-based system that is pretty revolutionary in terms of a high school approach. Our school is research-based and it's totally okay when someone you know, presents something. It's, it's normal to be like, well, why? Well, what's the research behind that? There's a, a very collaborative environment. Um, there's lots of opportunities for professional development. You know, it's been described as kind of an action research school and just just how they, they really have looked at research-backed educational principles and they put them into practice here like consistently and throughout everything that the school does. It's a long day, that's why I'm very conscious of the fact that I have to enjoy what I do. You just fly through the day and all of a sudden it's time to, you know, start again. It's busy, um, but it's meaningful. Like there are a lot of things that we do and that we are accountable to. We're trying a lot of new things here at our school and sometimes it's really frustrating at first, but once you start to read about it, critically analyze it, start talking about it, it actually becomes a more of a positive challenge rather than a negative one and you start to embrace it. It's very inspiring as a teacher and pushes you to be on top of your game every day. I've grown so much in terms of working with English language learners. The kids are great. They're the best part of the day. You're dealing with kids who are thinking and operating in many different levels. And for the most part, they are so highly driven that they want to succeed. The fact that after six hours of class, they come into office hours and they're still enthusiastic and passionate about learning and achieving greatness. They were more than I expected. I am just so amazed at how positive and excited they are about it. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a young and energetic staff. I work out a lot. The weight room facility is amazing. The gym is really nice. They, they, they play volleyball on Friday nights sometimes, soccer on Wednesdays. I feel a part of a community. There's a pool, there's a track, there are parks all around. The views are amazing. There's great places to run. There's that pagoda that you can see up there. During the weeknights, I might try and do something social. You know, you hang out with friends, uh, watch a movie, go grab some sushi, go to the back porch, grab a drink and a feed. You have the choice of living on campus or off campus, probably five kilometers away. It's about 10 minutes away by bike, and so I bike every day. We moved to Ocean Times. Um, it's nice sitting up on those upper floors. You have a nice view. My apartment has a balcony that overlooks the Pearl River. You have that more sense of light coming in. It gives you a nice sense of uh, feng shui, I guess. Very Western style housing, very comfortable. There's a town that's about 20 minutes away. There's restaurants there. Uh, it's growing very fast. I have only no idea what we're going to be like in another two years. Um, so we will have our own metro station into Guangzhou. There's a ferry terminal here in the right in front of the bridge where we can get ferries to Hong Kong, uh, 90 minutes, and that's walking distance. If I hang around, we might do like a poker night, a uh, movie night, we might go out to um, some of the bars. Closest local bus stop is right in front of the school. We bought an electric scooter and we like bomb around town on that. Um, we're an hour and a half from everywhere. Thursday night, uh, I went into Guangzhou, went to my favorite microbrewery. Right after school on Friday, we'll head down to the boat together and a chance to, uh, you know, unwind in Hong Kong. My wife and I took the bus to Shenzhen. We had Mexican food. It's um, becoming easier and easier to get to and from all these different places. Travel in Asia is so affordable. Uh, we've got really good holidays as well. 
I got the chance to go to Yung Shuo, which is uh, a famous climbing area, and I spent a week in Vietnam. I mean, can't beat that.